This is a quick review on the WV230 microinverter from Cade ENG. I'm not real sure how to pronounce that. Got it off of uh, eBay, and I have one running with some actual solar panels, uh, but wanted to take a little bit better data instead of uh, just sort of the quickie measurements I had running on the panels. Um, so this was mainly to, to check the nighttime power usage on the the microinverter but it's just as easy while I have it here to uh, take a few more data points so the 262 well actually let me start over um, input current and I'm sorry output current and output voltage are on the scope the blue trace is the output voltage or which really isn't the output voltage at the moment because there's no input uh, measuring input voltage as close as I can to the microinverter connectors uh, it's got the tracking algorithm but I'm still going to power it off of a bench supply hopefully that'll mimic a, a solar panel closely enough uh, output power is going to be on this meter which you can see right now is a negative number 262 milliwatts so that's the nighttime power usage there's no input power going in this guy so it's sucking 262 milliwatts off the line right now uh, so let me go ahead and fire this up and uh, I'm walk through a few things with it. So right now it should be trying to hunt for the maximum power. My bench supply is going to limit at 3 amps per channel. So once it settles out, uh, it should pick a power such that, that both of these channels uh, rail at 3 amps. I'll let that steady out. So the input voltage is 24.9 volts, you can see on this meter. Uh, and that's at 6 amps. The output waveforms, the green is the current, which is pretty close to a sinusoid. There's a little bit of high frequency noise on that from the switching. Uh, blue is the output voltage and then red is a math on the power which is uh, 127 watts but a more accurate measurement is going to be over here so I've got 25 volts in at 6 amps 130 watts out um, I can't go up to the uh, you know maximum voltage on the supply to, to test out the full 250 watt rating of the microinverter so I'll stop there uh, do a real quick check on power factor in THD which looks pretty high looking at the scope but just to check so power factors 0.9861 uh, THD let me turn the harmonics on so it's 12.1 percent THD in the current waveform and then uh, Let's see, is there anything else I should check here? Oh, so let me just do a quick sanity check on the islanding protection. Turn the harmonics back off. So right now there's 120 volts at the, the output of this guy. If I unplug it from the grid, even though I still have input voltage, it should shut that down. And it does. So the, the islanding protection works. Plug it back in just to see what it does. Just going back through and hunting again. I'm at 3 amps on both supplies now, and the uh, power over here on this meter should climb back up close to 130. So the anti islanding anti-islanding protection seems to work um, power factor and THD are good with a 25 volt input at 6 amps and a 130 watt output I think that works out to 85 86 percent efficiency it'd probably be higher up closer to the uh, 250 watt rating but I'm not going to check that today this is just kind of a quick sanity check anyhow I uh, hope this uh, helps in uh, selecting microinverters, if, if you're looking, you know, comparing this maybe to uh, to an Enphase or, or some of the other ones on the market. And uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching.